Original position is here with the rook on a8. Black is trying to win. So we, we're trying to force the king in a position where if he moves, he's losing a pawn. And to do that, we need our rook to attack the pawns from the back. So rook a3. I play rook a3 to cut off the king. f5, we looked at, it was a more testing move, but it's winning for black. King h4 was the other option. Rook f3, which are, we're really just trying to play the more forcing moves here where we only give white one option to defend the pawn, which is king g4. Um, and now we're behind the pawn, which makes our plan easier. So you retreat to the first rank. They don't have any moves except for king g3, because if he moves the king anywhere else, the pawn is no longer defended. g3 is the only square he could go to. If he pushes, we could take. And if they push h7, rook f8 stops the pawn. So they have to play king g3. Uh, and after king g3, king f5 is winning, because any king move, we'll take here. Rook takes f4, and if they push h7, we have rook h4. 